I get you've worked here for a long time and you've probably got that dark sense of humor or that you just switched off yeah. like mentally or like morally. But for me, I was like, nah, I was the person who took that call. Nah. Lozzy, <laughs> did you or did you not have a little stint in insurance, which fascinates me because... Fascinated me. You know, obviously... For the wrong reasons. Um, There's no easy way to say this. Insurance companies like to, to find loopholes, don't they, to get out of paying out and I'm just intrigued to know what that was like on the other side of the phone call it's obviously we won't mention I, the company I, or anything yeah I mean, I, mean <clears throat> I worked for um, an insurance company starts with an A that's all I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> ends with an A <laughs> yeah. there's there several there's several that end with like start and end with an A oh, so that's alright yeah, where are you yeah, from no. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't say that um, yeah it's Quite disheartening, to be honest, because you think like, oh, I'm getting insurance because it will cover me in the fact that something goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> something goes wrong, I'm covered. Like, yeah. I know, like, but the amount of times I'd have to tell someone like, oh, actually, no, looking for your policy based on the scenario, you're not covered. And then you, like, you claims. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was like the first portal caller. If they crashed or someone hit their car or whatever, I was the first person they contact. Yeah. So... I was often the, the the last person they contact as well. Yeah. Because most, most of the time, you're just looking through the policy and you're trying to fucking catch them out. If I'm, on, if I'm honest, like, That's you're double-checking it and you're just trying to catch people out. Even down to, like, <clears throat> you would ask them, like, the point of their, like, we've been trained to ask them why they were making the journey they were making. Yeah. Like, what was the purpose of the journey? I was like, why does that matter if they've just had a fucking crash? Would that be, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, for example, because I know one of the main things when you're getting car insurance, for example, is like, oh, is this for, you know, social and leisure or is this for work as well? And I'm guessing if you just put social and leisure and oh, then you're like, yeah, well, okay. I was driving to work and then, ah, well, fuck you then. Yeah. yeah. Boom. But then obviously if they say that, they start to get a bit combative because they know they've fucking slipped up. Yeah, of course, yeah. But most people will just say, like, if I if I was in that situation, I was like, why the fuck are you asking me that? I just want to fucking get this done and sorted. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, it it just gets a bit fucking niggly, to be honest. And, like like I say, it, it's, it goes even worse than that. They've got, obviously, rival insurers. And where I was working, you'd have insurers that were labelled... Um, like friendly insurers and ins other insurers were labelled non-friendly. So there's a particular one that is really big, and they the two companies just hate each other. Is this in? Is this if like your insured person hits someone and they're insured by them? Yeah, or vice right. versa. Um, and the the entire <clears throat> process, from what I can gather, is to implement as much cost on the other side as possible. Really. Yeah. So like, you've got, you got some politics going on. You've got the person who's like being crashed into or crashed into yeah, someone and else. And then you've got the back politics. And then you've got, the, oh, then you've got no. the, the whole arc in like <laughs> the company against company trying to infringe as much cost on the other. For the sake of just costing that company money? Yeah. Fuck Because yeah, they're rivals, aren't they? Yeah, they're just, well, they no want them to obviously suffer. If if our customers like at, <laughs> so at fault... That's mad. Can you imagine know, like just two run. people like bumping into each other really small and then <laughs> yeah. going to this like massive court case. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you owe her 10 million. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 We're going to take you down. It was a fender bender, mate. Yeah. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> <laughs> she's <laughs> paralysed. No, she's not. Yes, she is. As well. <laughs> Mentally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah just, if you just go in there with a bit of a limp, <laughs> yeah. So get. would would it obviously you're saying like they've just crashed or whatever, and obviously there'd be bad crashes. Um, if they're calling you, are, some, are they sometimes like a bit hysterical, or are they? Or yeah, there was there was a couple of them who honestly couldn't even do the call. They really? had to drop the call and just like cool down for a bit Fuck. or regain their composure or whatever. But there's like several times we've had to call RAC out, obviously because they're on the road. Yeah, and they've crashed. My dad uh, turns up. <laughs> yeah. Green flag. Yeah. Green flag. Yeah. Green flag, <laughs> green flag man. Big Google. up RAC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, probably the lowest point, though, and this, like, you do have to have, like, a certain mentality to work and stay in work. 
especially in claims with insurance because you're dealing like I said with frontline all the time you're the first per- like contact there was a particular case where I was really like I, th- I think mentally I just went nah this is not for me this is fucking rank mm-hmm. um basically one of our customers or one of our insured drivers on a policy had just hit two people on a um like a zebra crossing I think it was mm. oh shit um it, they've hit one and this, one of them's gone to hospital I think it was like a teenage girl and they've also hit a elderly woman the elderly woman died mm. and I was the first contact so I picked up the phone and they've literally like they've said oh, I've I'm calling up because I've hit like some people on a, a crossing and I was expecting them to be like really shaken up like really a little bit hysterical maybe Honestly, I've never talked to someone who's like as cool as a cucumber as they were. Really? Like they've they've hit Just someone recently someone. and they know they've done damage. They might not know they've killed someone, mm. but they just like say like, yeah, so how much is this going to cost? What's like what's going to happen? Could be shocked though. It could could have been or it could be a psychopath one. But that's not this not even the worst part. The worst part is I'd finished the call, passed it to like a higher team who deal with the higher expense claims and then uh a member of like team leader come past and just was intrigued as to what the call was because it was quite a lengthy call. They're always monitoring, monitoring you, hmm. making sure you're actually doing your job. Um, and you've got to get few, through so many calls a day. So he's come up to me and asked me, um, what was that about? And I've told him. Um, and he, he said, oh, okay, uh, how, how old were the, was the person who died? And I said, I think they were like 80-odd. And this is what he said verbatim. He said, "Ah, oh, wouldn't have to pay out pay out much for them then." Fucking and I was hell, like, man. "I was like, I get you've worked here for a long time, and you've probably got that dark sense of humour, or that you just switched off, yeah, like, mentally or like morally." But for me, I was like, "Nah, I was the person who took that call. Nah, that's yeah. Say that's someone else. All right, but if I'm just imagining." That was my relative. Yeah, yeah. You just said that. Yeah. Because you know you haven't got to pay as much because they've got no career anymore. Yeah. So you haven't got to pay for loss of earnings or like help the family out for like so many years worth of earnings. Yeah. You just come around and say, oh, no, we're gonna, we ain't going to have to pay out as much for that. That's, That's fucking right. crazy, isn't it? And I was like, Phew. yeah. I'm probably not going to stay here. <laughs> yeah. I think you, you, you definitely have to be a certain type of person to be able yeah. to do that um, job. You can't. I don't think you can be that emotionally switched on. To be honest, to be you know to be able to to switch off the the humanity of the situation and just like think about the figures and shit. Like, yeah. fucking do hell. you have to give them if there's a rejection of the claim? Do you ever deal with that on the phone or is it usually just done by letter or? Um, I've had a, a few times where just basically it's turned out not worth them claiming. Yeah. So that is technically they just reject the claim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember there was one particular guy who I felt so bad for. Like he just had all his tools stolen out of the back of his van and um, his excess was like, I think he said, the, I asked him how much like worth the tools had been stolen i think he said like 600 quid and his excess was like 550 yeah yes yeah, so it wasn't worth and he it, yeah. said he just like literally said like i'm sorry i'm, I'm gonna put the phone down because i'm gonna fucking start swearing at you and i was like fair enough yeah that's like on the one hand you're like ah oh, you should check your policy but the, the other yeah, like Sam, yeah. he's literally just had 600 quid's worth of stuff yeah. stolen out his van yeah, no one yeah. checks the insurance policy. <laughs> Man, I, I, I don't. I it. fucking yeah. worked yeah. for insurance. Even uh, when I was there, so, I was yeah. like, oh, I used to sell it. I used to yeah, sell it and underwrite it. Done both. 